Okay. Oh, 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 Let there be blood. <laughs> Not a real name. And the Pegasus. Yeah. We swore through Pegasus. Unicorn Pegasus. With water guns. <laughs> <laughs> so what influences your music? Um, a lot of it is like, like old school, like kind of shows like Crazy Machine, Donald Spiral. Um, I really grew up with family like that, like Aqua. A lot of like the really old school like techno raver music. That was kind of like my inspiration for the NCF, like in the music and the. It ranges. What was some of your influences? On I, I listen to everything. So, I, yeah, well, I mean, besides, I mean, the <laughs> obvious. <laughs> you gotta keep yourself yeah. inspired. Um, yeah, the obvious. Yeah. <laughs> but def definitely rap, uh, metal, like, I think every kind of genre you can possibly think of. Well, then it's really like a big nothing positive. Different cultures and influences. It's kind of hard to just. Were one thing when it's were many, many It's like a big blindfold of torture. Like literally, come over this for a month, you'll get it. <laughs> you'll be like, literally will blast like all sorts of music. Yeah, you know, I think life itself is <laughs> really in our experiences and our journey through it. <coughs> Like, okay, for instance, a lot of the songs on Let's Start a Ride and It's Hard to Be a Diamond in a Rising World were a lot to do with my old girlfriend. I was dating a swimsuit model, and we just we had a lot of fun time. Uh. Uh, <laughs> but then, like, a lot of, uh, like, the, this new album, All the Rage, this is more like a new beginning. We actually wanted to save lives. And our, and our biggest goal was uh, a, lot of, a lot of kids came to us uh, really, like, anti-suicide and you know, I guess our music has given a lot of hope, so that's kind of like, we just want to keep that hope alive and, and, and kind of help people through our music and stuff like that. That was our, that was our main goal. And all the rage <coughs> means, like all the rage on the tour inside of you. It's not a fashion statement, it's, it's more of a uh, starting a new beginning. So, what's your favorite song on the album? Bewitch. And that was, uh, I wrote that out, it was a true story, and uh, we both went through it was the epic tour, and we both fell in love, and he was going to get engaged, and I was going to propose to my lady, and at the same time, we both lost our true loves, and we were both really wounded, he wouldn't get out of bed, I wouldn't get out of bed, and uh, we just took our energy out of the studio. We were both talking about it. Uh, back in Orlando, 2007, it was in May, in May 17th, at the Social, and that was our first show. It was the craziest fucking show. Uh -huh. We had piñatas, and I had zebra pants, and um, <laughs> I think Kiki Cannibal was there. And yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you, high five. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, it was a pretty crazy show, but we had we had a good time. It was a fun show, and. The first show, there was like 300 people there, so that was pretty crazy. We weren't really expecting that. So it was pretty fun. So, what was the first show you ever went to? Papa Roach. <laughs> really? I, my first concert was a Papa Roach concert, and after that, I was never the same ever again. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Mine was uh, Evergreen Terrace and Strung Out. It was actually the first show I ever went to. Uh, I, I started late. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was like sports. 14 or 15. Oh, okay. Alright. 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 Alright.
<laughs> what? Where where do we begin? Do you have any sane ones? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think of like what's an what's actual like. Yeah. It'd be easier to tell you about the lame days. Rusty, you should tell. You know, you were there. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you know. It might incriminate us, so it's sad. We don't want to go to jail over this. <laughs> Where's the naughty All of it. <laughs> you know, we're going to leave that as, as a mystery. Use imagination. That's pretty much it. <laughs> just say, never look at elbow gloves the same. <laughs> okay, okay, one experience with Mr. Okay, so I'm at the bar and uh, we came as Romans. We had bass players like buying me shots and we're like, just like, yeah, fuck yeah. Next thing you know, like, I'm ziplining drunk with hello goodbye. And we're all just like, Rupert Egan! <laughs> we're all like, just nuts. I have a video of it, but yeah, I mean, that's just a little glimpse of, you know, <laughs> a normal insane. day in my life. Like, I was ziplining, like, with hella goodbye, drunk as fuck. Like, I don't know, I was just out of my mind. That's fine. Any exciting announcements? Yeah, uh, All the Rage tour with Angel Spit kicks off October 15th, 15th excuse me, to November 23rd. Uh, two new songs are coming out. Fuck Me I'm Famous uh, with a special celebrity and then we got another song called Phoenix Down and that all comes out in September. So it's pretty big. Oh, and uh, you're talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we're watching this. I just mind fucked. <laughs> and now you're pregnant. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, well anyway. That's the truth. Well, it comes to be that time. The time that way. It's the time of the month. Ah, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Well, consider the time. Do you have any last words? Well, being machine, which you do the rest. Well, there's needles in that thing. Wait, do I come out with a new person? We're going to have to stop. Is that a baby, baby in your pants? Are you just happy to see it? Not that you're not clear, I think it's ugly. Yeah, it's all a thing. You're a fucking dolphin. There's like needles out of your tank. No, I don't blow up my teeth. <laughs> um, I'm gonna bring you to bed. Oh no. Not somewhere, somewhere. Somebody's <laughs> hurting you. Hey, it gets around. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hey, it's a baby. Let's throw it in a blender. Ah! I still use needle. Oh, my baby! Good job, my baby! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, anyway, that was an awesome episode of How Did You Do It, Ali. Rest in peace.